What's happening guys, it's Bharat Nakwal for iGandroid in and today I'm looking at uh, the new Android L uh, for uh, your Nexus devices. Now this is a developer preview and uh, for those who have a Nexus devices including a Nexus 5 or a Nexus 7 can download this on their devices and we're going to be getting a guide up on our website real soon. Uh, so that you can have a look at that and if you are interested you can actually install uh, Android L uh, which is going to be a developer preview for you guys. So here are a couple of things that I think are interesting about Android L and I'm going to run you through them real quick and uh, then we're going to take a vote on what the name should finally be for Android L since it's still up in the air and they still haven't announced what they're going to call it so we're going to take a small vote and see what it's called or see what it's going to be called. Anyway, so the first thing that's really important or so the first thing that you notice is the new lock screen. Uh, dare I say it and I know I'm going to get a lot of flack for this. Uh, the new lock screen looks a lot like iOS. So you get your notifications in a small little rectangular card format uh, which you can swipe left or right to dismiss. Uh, you can also unlock this feature. So by default it comes locked so you can't dismiss your notifications. You can tap on them and then unlock the screen to jump directly to that particular notification but uh, more or less it stays locked and you can swipe to unlock uh, the notifications or dismiss the notifications by going into your settings and setting that up. So you get a nice interesting new lock screen and uh, the lock screen also is a lot more interactive so if you swipe from the left you jump directly into the dialer and if you swipe from the right you jump directly into the camera and to now unlock the screen you have to swipe up instead of uh, simply pulling out in a ring uh, which is great uh, the new lock screen is really nice to look at it's a lot more usable and I personally like the cards or the notification cards that you get the rectangular notification cards I think a lot of people will appreciate them you can still continue to pull uh, your uh, notification center from the top so if you have notifications you can get those uh, essentially your notifications already show at the bottom so what you get from the top is uh, the quick toggles uh, that you already get in the notification center. Now the notification center once your screen is unlocked is a lot uh, cooler as well I think. Uh, when you pull from the top you get this nice little animation that pulls down all your notifications and then when you pull further you get uh, the quick toggles versus jumping from one tab to another. So if you continue to pull on your notification center you jump into the quick toggles and then you also get an option to jump into your settings. The quick toggles are really nice, you get interesting toggles, you get a new auto rotate toggle and the animations in these toggles, uh, they look really nice as well. So pretty impressive in terms of the overall UI overhaul. Uh, Google has essentially made it look nicer, cleaner. Uh, you have flatter design. Uh, a lot of people have said this already and it does look like there is a theme installed on KitKat uh, but it's much more responsive just this developer preview is so much more responsive than KitKat by default uh, that it feels really smooth and it feels like this is a major improvement in the overall processes, the overall response time from the device. Now if you jump into the settings panel, you get an interesting new animation as well. So when you pull to the top or when you reach the end of a menu, you get this round type uh, animation that looks really nice. You also get uh, a bunch of new um, themes or sorts. So the new settings panel A looks really nice, it looks cleaner. The new white and green format uh, looks pretty interesting. I'm quite enjoying it so far. And then you have these new data usage uh, menus. Uh, that look nice. The toggles on the top for the buttons to turn things on or off. They are very nice and animated and the animations look really good as well. So they have basically cleaned it out, they made it more animated, they made it more uh, beautiful so to speak uh, including the new settings menu which is great. Now if you talk about the dialer you'll see a completely new design of the dialer as well. I'm very very impressed with this. It's cleaner, much more nice to look at and uh, the buttons themselves are beautiful as well. So a much cleaner and flatter design for everything in Android L and uh, I'm pretty happy with everything that it does. I mean, look at uh, this new keyboard for example. This new keyboard is really really impressive. It's again, you, you, they've removed the borders from the keys so you get everything in a grey background. Uh, this actually looks nice and it at the first glance looked like it'll be difficult to type on this keyboard but it's much more easier than the keyboard that we get on KitKat and in fact I think most of the people won't really need to skin their keyboard and most people will really enjoy the stock keyboard that comes with Android L. Uh, really nice, you also get these nice emoticons uh, which are uh, honestly a lot bigger to look at, a lot cleaner and a lot more 
uh, flatter in terms of their colors. So beautiful uh, icons as well as emoticons as well as the overall keyboard itself is really impressive. Basically what this is, is a complete design change for Android. You'll see a completely new uh, user interface. Uh, the colors are different, the overall icons are different. You see newer, bigger icons in uh, the all app list. Uh, basically it looks a lot bolder, a lot flatter. And uh, you'll really enjoy using this. They've also improved the graphics performance so when you're playing games, you get a smoother overall response from the device and I can't complain. If you look at the multitasking bit as well, uh, the flipping uh, panels over here, really, really smooth. One of the smoothest that I've seen in a very long time. So honestly, uh, Google has done a fantastic job of uh, building this Android L. And if the final version is anything like the developer preview, a lot of people are gonna be really happy with uh, this version. And I do hope that companies push uh, this out really fast to uh, users. Uh, HTC has already said that uh, within weeks uh, they'll give uh, the final version of Android L running blink feed uh, to their consumers especially for devices like the HTC One M8, the new Desire series 816 and 516 etc. So people will be happy with uh, the new uh, versions of Android on their devices. Hopefully companies like Samsung and Sony will also jump up their game and bring faster updates. A lot of companies including Motorola who promised FOTA updates for their devices including the Moto G, the Moto E and the Moto X. Uh, we'll also see Android L really fast from the companies. In fact, the Moto X Plus uh, may come with Android L out of the box. So that's a quick look at uh, Android L, guys. Uh, you also have the new camera application, which I forgot to talk about. Uh, it's, again, the camera app is a lot more responsive, a lot cleaner. You see bigger icons, you see better uh, colors within the ecosystem. And then you have a bunch of quick settings that you can customize according to your requirements. So overall, I don't think I have any complaints with Android L and it looks like a promising, promising update from the company. So uh, that was a quick look at this. Even on the Nexus 7, you'll see that the UI is uh, much more advanced. Of course, you can't pull from the left on the lock screen uh, because uh, you don't have a dialer. So you can pull from the right to jump into the camera and you can pull from the bottom to unlock and you can pull from the top uh, to go into your notification center or the quick toggles essentially. Uh, again, the UI is flatter, cleaner, everything is identical and similar on Nexus 7 as well as the Nexus 5 except for the size of the screen and uh, more or less uh, the overall performance, the UI changes, the interaction between you and the device is a lot faster so you'll truly, truly enjoy uh, Android L. So now it's the time for uh, our uh, quick vote. So there are a couple of options that people have been claiming uh, that uh, this version of Android is going to be called. So what do you think it's going to be? Uh, three names that have already uh, been discussed is uh, Android L will stand for Android Laddu because a lot of people have been calling it that. Uh, especially in India, people really enjoy something like that, uh, which is a fun name. The other options are uh, Lollipop. So I don't know, maybe it will be called Lollipop because for L, I don't really see any other names. Um, except uh, for example for K, they instead of doing kit, key lime pie, they said uh, Kit Kat. Another thing that I think it could be called is lemon tart because that is something that uh, people have been ignoring uh, completely uh, and it's a dessert and it's globally known. So it could be something like that, something or some sort of a dessert that is globally available uh, would be possibly the next name. So what do you think is going to be the name of Android L, the final name? Uh, leave your suggestions in the comment section below and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. This has been Bharat Nagpal. Thank you guys for watching.